this week, 130 S&P companies report, so it's going to be <coughs> jammed up all week. Um, just out of the news, Newswire's pick up that the Mueller indictment has uh, come down and Paul Manafort has got to surrender to authorities. Futures have not done much off that, but s and is down five to six as we enter the day. Uh, in D.C., the next move for the White House will be the Fed chair. That's probably going to be Powell, and later this week before uh, Mr. Trump heads to Asia. The fallout from the Mueller investigation is a just a huge question mark, but uh, back to the futures have not, have not dropped precipitously. Uh, a lot of M&A over the weekend. AXTA is buying AXO in the specialty chemicals area. Online universities, Capella, CPLA is buying uh, STRA. Big home building uh, deal, Lennar buying CAA, which is Cal Atlantic. That stock is up seven bucks. And Novar Novartis is buying uh, AAAP. Not really sure what that is. Remember, a lot of the advisory companies probably getting good fees off of this would be Lazard and Mollus uh, come to mind. Uh, I did read that the co-founder of Alibaba is also buying 49% of the New York Nets for a record valuation at $2.3 billion. So if you're looking for signs of the top, it's the New York Nets. Uh, in did you know category, Jack Bogle, who founded Vanguard, says that passive investing, which is currently 50%, that could go to 70 to 90% over time. That's a little frightening. Uh, weekend box office bombed again. What I did like was the Weinstein businesses. They released one uh, dog. They took in about $460 in top line, so couldn't be happier. Uh, Goldman Sachs took General Motors to a sell and a $32 price target this morning. That was so overdone to the upside. Uh, Barron's, nah, not going to touch any of that. Uh, real snore. Uh, Bitcoin is at seven, up 7% 7 to $6,100 this morning. I believe that's an all-time high. Uh, Amazon mulling, getting into the prescription drug business. Only 10% of your uh, pharmaceuticals are delivered to the home, so there is a big opportunity. That's why CVS and Aetna are uh, rumored to be getting together. Also keep in mind, Wall Street Journal had a negative article on big cap pharmaceuticals. Um, we're going to go with the gold star this morning. Read a great article on a guy named Jose Andres, who is a world-class chef from Spain. Uh, he went to Puerto Rico after the hurricane. He just delivered the two millionth meal uh, to settle things down there. That's extraordinary. So a real, uh, a real um, hero, if you will. And then the booby prize. Anybody buying these initial coin offerings? Just be careful. I read an article this, over the weekend. Money Mayweather was backing a company called Centra. They raised for 30 million of your dollars, and they've got there's nothing to it. It's a concept. It looks really shady. There have been 270 ICOs um, that have raised 3.2 billion dollars this year. So you need an 